I'm a little grumpy right now because I recorded this video earlier Then I decided to take myself a little nap, woke up, probably look a little tired right now because I am. And I realized that the microphone never recorded any of my video. So here I am to talk about it again. You already know how we were going to start this. This morning, I woke up in bed, scrolled through Twitter. This is, this is how every video starts. It's how we find all the topics. And I came across a streamer by the name of Frogan that decided that she wanted to wish PTSD on all of the American veterans. I have no pity at all for any soldiers. Distress, thank you so much. I will never have any pity for any soldiers. US military, boo fing who. I hope you get PTSD. You know? I, I do, the ones I do, I, the ones I'm like whatever about, the U.S. soldiers, are the ones that like acknowledge that like what they did was wrong. They didn't know well back, they didn't know back then. Whatever. You're, you're a good person in my book. I'm like a Tom, thank you so much for the 10 gifted. The, the, the U.S. military that are like, yeah, like, you know, I did this back then, but now I know it's wrong. Like, I'm changed. Like, imperialism, this. You don't deserve the PTSD. But like any other, you're joining them, you're like, oh my God, I want my Camaro, no student loans. You. I hope you get PTSD. And I hope you get no health insurance when you get back in fucking America. Makes all the sense in the world. Apparently, they're all horrible people, but those that maybe realized that what they did a long time ago was bad and, you know, they, they, they changed their mind and they, they're different people now. That she doesn't wish PTSD on you, but otherwise, she doesn't like you. She wishes PTSD on you. She hopes that you don't get health insurance and basically wants you to suffer trauma for the rest of your life because for some reason, she thinks that that sounds okay. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I believe she was born in America as far as I know, or she, she lives here and been here long enough, but regardless, that's how she feels. So she enjoys the privileges that have come with America doing a lot of the stuff that is done, which don't get me wrong, I agree. Some effed up shit in the past, some stuff was done right, but that's the case with every single country, religion, like anything that you think of in life. You cannot tell me one single thing where you're like, well, this thing is pure. They've never, ever done anything bad. Nothing horrible has ever. It's always been good, positive stuff. There's nothing that they've ever done wrong. That's just not true for anything. When you go through the history of people, whether it's religion, whether it's cults, whether it's countries, whether it's states, whoever it is that you want to try to put in this conversation, at some point there was something done that wasn't right, that probably falls on the side of wrong. So it's crazy to me to look at people that fought for their country, that honestly probably didn't even know half of the stuff that they were doing. Now, is there some people that go over to war and they do some horrible things like right there in the moment in real time? Of course. And those people deserve hell and everything that comes with it. But for the most part, you cannot blame every single soldier because they went and they fought in a war to protect their country, to do things that they felt were right. And at the time, probably didn't know what the actual motive was, which is the case in pretty much every war, but that goes for every country. There's no country you could tell me has never done horrible shit or doesn't continue to do some horrible shit. The United States is just top of the list because we have the most shit going on. We're the biggest. Like there's, there's a lot of reasons behind it. And so we're able to throw our weight around. So it just, it, it does seem like we're worse, but every country has had their hand in some bad shit and 90%, if not 100%, still kind of do in some fashion or form. You could find something that doesn't feel right. And that also goes for the religion that she's claiming. And I'm not saying that as a disrespect, but every single religion has some bad shit in its past. And some stuff nowadays that people still look at is not good. So it's, it's just crazy to just kind of point fingers and, and, and go down this path and think that this is the right way to think about things. So I'm hoping that Twitch is going to do something about this because from everything I understand, she broke the TOS. In Twitch's TOS, there is civility and respect. The hateful conduct portion says, Twitch aims to be a place where everyone can come together in shared community experiences. This vision is threatened when people experience harmful rhetoric and abuse on Twitch. Twitch does not permit behavior that is motivated by hatred, prejudice, or intolerance, including behavior that promotes or encourages discrimination, denigration, harassment, or violence based on the following protected characteristics. Race, ethnicity, color, caste, national origin, immigration status, religion, sex, gender, gender identity, sexual orientation, disability, serious medical condition, and veteran status. 
We also provide certain protections for age, which are expressly noted in the examples. So as much as the situations are a little bit different between her and Asmin Gold, he's the most recent situation where someone was banned for something like this. She definitely falls under breaking TOS the same as he did. So if he's going to get banned, they definitely need to step in and do something about this. So I'm hoping that's going to be the case. I did cover the Asmin Gold situation and there is a video on my page which a lot of people didn't seem to like. I didn't even really pick a side. I just said, hey, I'm team people. I really don't wanna see people die in any situation. So I feel like it's crazy to say that anybody deserves anything. And a bunch of people come in my comments and they were not very happy. The dislikes ain't looking that good. And it's wild because I admitted that I don't know a whole lot about the situation or about the law or any of the religion or any of the stuff that he said. So I spoke from a standpoint of someone that doesn't know everything, but said that I will educate myself further. So even though I gave people the, the heads up that, listen, I don't know everything. So maybe there are some things that will change my mind once I learn stuff, but I'm not saying that that's the case. People get real upset with you when you're not on the side that they're on. Now, aside of the TOS, I completely agree that everybody has the right to criticize different things that they don't agree with. But sometimes I do have to agree with some of the comments I see when people start to complain about America in a way like this, where you're wishing something on people like horrible shit. And it's like, if you're that disenfranchised, I don't even know if that's the word that I'm looking for. If you're that upset, basically, you know what I'm saying? With the way things are going in this country, it just makes me wonder why you stay in this country. And it's probably because you enjoy the privileges that come with being here. And unfortunately, a lot of those privileges came from shit that the country did. And some of it is going to be stuff you don't agree with. So it's like, if you feel that way, then you shouldn't even be here enjoying those privileges because that in a way kind of shows that you support everything that was done to get to this point. That's how I feel at least. And I couldn't see myself living anywhere else in the world. That's just my take on it. And everybody's allowed to feel the way that they want. But if you feel so strongly that you would wish something like that on a whole bunch of people that you don't know, and you have no idea what kind of people they actually are, you're just going to label them. And it's probably out of anger because all of this came from her responding to the whole Asmin situation, if I'm not mistaken. And some people like to get caught up in their emotions and then say even more horrible shit and somehow think that it makes sense and that it's right. When in reality, you're being more like the person that you're trying to get at, which is it's just a whole nother conversation. But anyways, I just wanted to talk about this. I saw it pop up. Hopefully she gets a little bit of a ban maybe learns that it's not the right thing to say. You know, if you get mad at somebody else for saying something, you probably shouldn't say something very similar. But you know, we all learn some lessons in life the hard way. So anyways, let me know what you think. I'll catch you in the next one, homies. Damn, bro, my man taking the uh, whole, he's taking the whole finger. <laughs> Damn, my finger's dirty. I'm put it back in DK's mouth. <laughs> I can't do this shit. I can't do this. This is what happens when you leave us alone. Mate, I'm not having this. I'll come back and I'll see you pointing at me. Hey, look, here's what we did. Watch. But here, sit on my finger real quick. <laughs> what do you mean, sit on my finger? <laughs> and then I'm going to put it in your mouth. <laughs> oh, and you're putting it in my mouth. Oh, hell no. This is, this is, <laughs> this is abuse. <laughs> we were bored. We were trying oh, to find okay. things to get into. We were trying to find shit to do.